Hello, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel. By the heading I have on this video, you'll know by now already this is a rebuke from our Lord to someone who calls herself Rosie Lost Sheep. Now, I don't want to use the name she's given for her channel. Rosie is her witchcraft name. She came out of witchcraft, confesses that. She used to be into witchcraft, an ex-witch, an experience with the Lord, hallelujah. And she said his power came and suddenly she was delivered of all demons. She's using her witchcraft name, Rosie. While she's using that name, the demons with her won't leave. Using that name is a right for them to stay. So those witchcraft demons are still there. So I'm going to call her R because I don't want to use the name Rosie. If she's watching this video, it's going to stir up those witchcraft demons. Now she calls us a Rosie Lost Sheep. The whole name of the channel is demonic. Lost Sheep is the purpose of the enemy. I did not want to do this. I wrestled with the Lord. Lord, if this cup will pass me by. Yeah, she did false allegations, false accusations against me. Called me a false prophet, operating in Kudalini, divination. Lost my first love, Jesus. Wanting money, wanting people to come to me for deliverance to get money. Lies and lies and lies. This is not a tit for tat. I wouldn't do that. It's not how the Lord works and it's not from the Spirit of God. I'm not that childish. I'm not defending myself. Personally, I actually don't care what she says about me. I want nothing to do with it. I just want the Lord to be about his business. But it does concern our Lord. Because she actually came against him when she came against me and calling his spirit Kundalini. She's deceiving his children. That's what's concerning him too. So this is not about me at all. This is about what the Lord wants to do through me. When I asked him, Lord, why? <laughs> He said, because she came against you. I said, all right, Lord. So he's doing the rebuke through me, whom she came against, a true servant of the Lord, a bond servant who's moving by his spirit. Now she needs deliverance. She's still operating in a realm not of the Lord. I'm not the only one she's attacked. Another ministry sent her an email in love, declaring in, to her the biblical errors she keeps speaking about on her YouTube channel. Her response? To attack that ministry and said it was from the Lord. And then her followers attacked that ministry. Because I said, talked about being drunk in the spirit which is biblical, an overfilling of the Spirit, and His joy, which are manifestations of the Spirit of God, not Kundalini. I know that demon. I've cast it out enough people. We know the demonic. I'm not enjoying this. I don't want to do this video. The Lord said, do it for my sake. And when he said that, I heard the least of these. She's deceiving his children. She is a false prophet. She writes down messengers against people like me and the other ministry. She writes down messages and say, thus says the Lord. They're not him. The only time I felt him, his spirit on her videos, <laughs> is when she shared what I shared by the spirit on my YouTube channel which she watched and copied and reworded and made out 
she heard it. The rest I don't register the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God will not have you always in a dark room. The Spirit of God will not have you always wearing dark clothing. She needs deliverance. This is a rebuke to you. I'm not going to call you by your witchcraft name. That's going to stir up the demons in you. I'm going to call you Ah. You need deliverance. You and your husband need deliverance. You made a mistake. Learn and grow from it. You heard something I said. You heard what something someone else has said and you attacked them and said, Thus says the Lord. You're deceiving his people. You're giving out wrong information and saying it's from him. You have a call on your life. But you need deliverance from that false angel of light false Christ you need deliverance from false prophecy false confirmation witchcraft Jezebel who will point at another person and accuse them what she herself is doing the seducing demons that are on your channel seducing persuading people to subscribe I'm aware of what's happening Satan wants to grow your channel not the Lord he's rebuking you he's rebuking you you need deliverance I'm not saying come to me or another minister and pay money to get deliverance that's not of the Lord the accusations you've said about me are not very nice and totally from your own vain imaginations not from the Lord. We've never taken finances for deliverance. Never and never will. <laughs> All my prayers are self-deliverance prayers. To go to the Lord, learn the Spirit of God for yourself and Him deliver you. Not run to a person. You should watch some more of my videos. <laughs> and stop copying it. And saying you've heard it for yourself. Hear him for yourself. Who others are you listening to? And then write down you've heard it for yourself. Not all dreams and visions. You're sharing are from him. There's mixture. So the Lord is rebuking you. Are oh, I'm not going to say your witchcraft name. Renounce Satan. Renounce that name you're using. Sever yourself from every ungodly soul tied demonic bond to it. Sever yourself from it and be delivered of the demons that are attached to that name. Put up a name for the channel that comes from the Lord. Get deliverance. Stop sitting in a darkened room and put in a fireplace behind you. That's witchcraft. It's not ambience that people feel nice. And the dark clothing. We have seen people have deliverance from demons. They would say, oh, I like wearing black. They get deliverance from demons and they start wearing light clothing and bright colours and realise it was demonical at that time. Demons love dark clothing. Nothing wrong with wearing dark clothes, but if you are consistently wearing them day in, day out, there is something going on and it's not of God. So ah, repent, turn to the Lord please, he loves you, you had an experience with him, he's called you forth, but the enemy is working in and through you, you and your husband both need deliverance, you need to be set free, so pure water comes forth. Pure water of the living God. Not write down your opinion, your perceptions, your understanding about things you don't understand and say, thus says the Lord, and deceive his children. 
you are accountable to him. You will hold an account to him. He will hold you accountable for all the words you've spoken. You have spoken many word curses out. It doesn't touch me or my husband or the ministry. We bring them all under the blood of Jesus and cancel them. No and void. The enemy can't use them. But what about all those deceiving words you are speaking? Saying thus from the Lord and it's not deception. That's gone out. Let this video be a heads up for you. The Lord is rebuking you, not me. I love you. I truly desire for you to be set free. And, and his children be released living waters of the Spirit of God. I really desire to know the freedom that comes from the Holy Spirit. True Holy Spirit. Not false. To know the freedom you have in him. We put in a video about being drunk in the Lord is, is not from the Lord. Drunk in the Spirit is not from the Lord. You're actually stopping him from moving in your life and in the lives of others. You are stopping others from hearing the truth. You let give him the permission and the freedom to move. It's not kudalini. You just need to learn a bit more. I've forgiven you already. All your words mean nothing to me. But it does to our Lord. It does to him. You're accountable to him. And all the people you have deceived. And the channel that's growing because Satan wants it to grow. Because you're giving out mixture and he likes that. Ah. Uh, I don't want to talk, call, call you by your witchcraft name. And I don't want to call you a channel name. It's demonic. Anyone who's mature in our Lord can see what's going on. But those that come under the deception that you're in get deceived. So I'm going to say your channel name one more time. Rosie Lost Sheep. False prophet. She is not speaking from the Spirit of the Lord. If you say something she don't like, she attacks and says thus from the Lord. She will pick you apart and become very defensive, which is typical of the realms of darkness. Pray for her if you feel led by the Lord. She needs deliverance. She needs to be set free. She's deceiving his children. She is leading them astray. She's doing what the enemy wants, causing lost sheep. Being lulled into a sense of false peace. That's not of him. So all those who are watching this video, those who are listening, I never thought the Lord would work for me like this. Of all the people we know that are actually Operating as false prophets, false teachers. Who would have me do this for her? <laughs> Why? Because she came against me. She came against him and his spirit. Whom I move in and it's not demonic. Anyone who knows the spirit can feel and register the glory of God being released on all these videos. It's not demonic. But those in the natural realm cannot discern the things of the spirit. Those are deceived can't discern him. You need to come out of deception and stop operating from the natural and choose to receive the spirit of God. All those who have watched her channel, I encourage you to go to the Lord about this. Ask him yourself. Ask him yourself. Look at the fruits in her life. Have a look. Judge the fruits. Don't judge her. I don't want people attacking her, please. That's not of the Lord. This is not about attacking. I'm doing this by the Lord. 
he's warning, he's rebuking one of his children who's been used by the enemy for the enemy's purposes and saying it's of God. If you feel led, pray for her. Don't pray for her otherwise. Just pray for her if you feel led by the Lord. Then you'll be anointed to do so. Intercede for her if you feel led to do so and he'll give you words of knowledge how to pray. If you subscribe to her YouTube channel, go to the Lord about it, please. Ask Holy Spirit. Know the truth. Don't come under a demon of deception and be deceived and the demon of persuasion and false confirmation. And Jezebel, and witchcraft, divination, good lineage, all the things she's accusing me of. That's typical Jezebel. Wrong thing to do to accuse a deliverance minister of being demonic when they know about these things. He's moving by the Spirit of God, who's a true servant of the Lord. Judge the fruits of my own life in these videos. Those who watch my videos, their lives are being changed. Freedom are coming to them. I can't do that. It's what he's doing. It's what he's doing by his spirit. Holy Spirit, not another spirit, not a contrary spirit, not a false Christ, a false prophecy prophecy the true living god holy spirit that's why i encourage everyone to talk to holy spirit for yourself learn and grow to discern and perceive his voice from other voices to grow in our lord so you can test the spirits because until then you're going to believe every word you hear fables you're going to believe vain imaginations false information things that are going to tickle your ear and make you feel good momentarily and oh i just learnt new information i do this video and this rebuke to rosy lost sheep in utmost fear of the lord i'm accountable to him it would not leave me i didn't want to do this for days no lord i don't want to do this and then he said do it for my sake. Meaning do it for the least of these. Because what she's doing to his children, he's doing it to him. What she did against me in another ministry, she's done it to him. She needs to repent. She needs to renounce all the realms of darkness. And he's renounced the witchcraft name Rosie and the heading of her YouTube channel, Lost Sheep. We are not lost sheep. We're being found in him. Hallelujah. Life and life abundantly is evident in those who are living by the Spirit of God. People look at me and they haven't seen me for years. They go, how young I look now regenerated by the spirit of god it's not demonic healed no longer bed bound full-time ministry not demonic holy spirit don't judge her or anybody else please don't go to her channel well she's got her comments turned off and there's no community there's no accountability there's no transparency so you can't leave horrible comments. Her followers came to my YouTube channel and left horrible comments. Believing every word she said. Recommended me at first. They all come over here and wanted deliverance from me. And <laughs> I don't do online deliverance at this time. Then when she goes, oh sorry, I made a mistake. She's changed. Something's changed about me. No, I did not. <laughs> I said something she didn't like, so she put thus says the Lord. And they all went back to her, back under that deception, back under lis listening to vain imaginations, back listening to a voice that's not of God. Now they're following a voice of a stranger. Sever every ungodly soul tied demonic bond to her and her channel. Any demons came to you, command they leave you. 
be set free from deception or anything else that's operating through her. That's not of God. God bless you, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I'm not enjoying this. I sure did not want to do this. But those who do know me and know I'm moved by the Spirit, I'm obedient to him. Death of self. Live for Christ. When he said do this for his sake. To do this. Rebuke. Rosie lost sheep. And I bring that name under the blood of Jesus and cancel all the demonic in Jesus' name. I went, yes, Lord. But even then I didn't I didn't want to do it. I but I said, Yes, Lord, I'm obedient to him. Because his children need to be aware what's going on. There are many like her giving out mixture, accusing his true prophets and his seers and messengers and children of God of being false, of being demonic when it's his spirit. Not a good place to be. My husband and I interceded for this lady. I'm just going to call her R. We interceded for her. Stood in the gap for her. Understood what she was doing was not good. But we sure took authority over the realms of darkness with her. And the demons that were sent because of what she spoke. And her, all the followers started releasing. Didn't touch us. We took authority over it all. Because we're covered by the Most High God anointed in his will to come against us is to come against him to come against his children we are all his anointed ones the spirit of god within us the spirit of christ the anointed one do not come against one another and only if you know the spirit of god do you call out and rebuke a false prophet false teacher Many are doing it and got whole YouTube channels doing it. Look at this person. Look, and people love it. It's disgusting. Personally, it's disgusting. Let the fear of God come upon us all. That we would speak against these children in any way. Because Father's about reconciliation. The whole gospel is reconciliation. Reunited back to the heart of the Father. One, together in the spirit of the living God. Keep the bond of peace. Not accuse. False accusations. False making up blatant lies. And say, thus says the Lord. And deceive his children. There's forgiveness in him. If one repents and renounces those words. There's forgiveness. We all learn and grow, don't we? We learn and grow in him. Let us love one another. Don't just speak it so it sounds good. As if you're walking with him. Live it. Live it. My husband and I live it. <laughs> it's an everlasting love. Regardless of what a person would say or do against us. We love them. Doesn't stop. It's unconditional. Just as we love our, can't say her witchcraft name. I hope she puts up her real name and gets deliverance and stops deceiving his children. All right. Father, is there anything else you want me to do? I feel very uncomfortable doing this. It goes against everything I've, I've, I've told others. I've never, I don't like speaking out names. Only once I spoke out a person's name, an apostle. So we're casting out so many demons that came from that person. So this is the second time I've ever done this. And I really hope it's the last. So God bless you all. I will be sharing a video what our Lord Jesus, my true love, my first love, revealed to me. 
what I saw in heaven. Now that video I want to share. That's the next video. God bless you all. I love you with the love of our Lord. Whether you like me or not, whether you subscribe or not, <laughs> whether you speak horrible words or not, I truly love you. We are on a walk with our Lord, aren't we? Let us encourage and edify and build each other up in the faith. Let us not tear down and come against one another, please. It's not of the Spirit of the Lord. And don't make blatant lies up and say it's from the Lord. It's not of Him. Love one another. Forgive one another. Pray for one another. We are in the end times and the enemies at work. Let us only receive from the Spirit of the Lord. Make a heart decision you only receive from the Spirit of God, not from any other spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video, which either today or tomorrow I'll be doing. In Father's timing and by His Spirit, Holy Spirit, the one who set me free from being bedbound, the one who I've seen set many free, the one who I've seen healings and miracles and manifestations. Hallelujah. He's the living waters. We need to revere him who is in a person. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>